I really think the takeaway from this should be that the models are just getting way better. All right, so Google came out with a new model and based on what we see here in the chatbot arena, it is called Gemini EXP, which stands for Experimental 1114, which is today's date of November 14th. So being that this is ranked number one and a bit higher than the most powerful ChatGPT model, I figured it was worthy of just a quick bit of exploration and maybe a video testing it and things like that. To begin, I am going in here into the Google AI Studio where we have our model selected here and we can actually play with it. So real quick, simple, I would just like to begin by asking it perhaps something. So I have a little simple Python game generation prompt here which is something that I like to kind of test these models with. I did it with um, GPT, the strawberry or whatever it was called when that came out, the new one. So I always kind of like to have this as sort of like a benchmark, I suppose you could say, and we can see here. So it is outputting it. So it's using Pygame, Random, and Sys. So simple and well-known packages, which I have specified. Use code with caution. So being Google, of course, there will be a, perhaps a plethora of warnings and how you use the output of things. And I'm just kind of seeing. Oh, so this is something I've not seen here at all in any of these before. Now, I, I understand we haven't run this yet, so we want to see the results first, but it's actually doing enemy cars, collision detection, and things like that, just with simple arithmetic. But this is rather interesting. It tells me about game mechanics, code explanation, and enhancement ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can easily copy this code and perfect. So we'll go into VS code. I will paste it. Uh, make sure I have all these dependencies in my current environment, which I do, which is cool. I'll save it as synthwb.py. Sure. Okay. It's saving it in Magentic 1, which I'm just going to let that ride for right now. And we'll go ahead. Let's run this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm I don't I don't embellish my reactions because I I don't like that form of um content. However, I am I am extremely surprised at this. And I'm actually going to have to go back to one of the other videos I made and, and show you the comparison of what was previously generated by the Frontier model of the GPT-01 preview. Now, what we're seeing here is that it doesn't actually look like we're driving anywhere. So, Because this, and this is in one shot it did this, there were no errors or anything. But the fact that it actually, it worked, Graphically, it was far more impressive than anything I've seen made before with, with this similar prompt. And, and the enemies and stuff like that, that, I'm actually, I'm a bit lost for words at the, I, I really did not expect this. I honestly figured I was going to get a, a, a trace back in that terminal down here. I'm going to run this again. This is, um. Now, okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so the, the quote-unquote enemies do actually spawn in different locations along uh, the roadway. So this is... Um, this is really... I understand that some people might view this and be like, what is this 8-bit looking crap? Understood. It is the actual like logic behind this that the model was capable of doing. I didn't really give it a lot. I just said, hey, do this synth wave style, whatever. It, it did enemies and things like that. The, the graphics are superior in terms of the road actually forming than, than what I've seen before. This is quite impressive. Okay, so this is 4.0, which I don't know if this is the newest version, so maybe it's not quite. We'll do a one preview. 
and we'll see what it says. I'm just going to maybe close that and we'll see what O1 has done here for our Synthwave driving game comparison. Now I can already tell you right now that Gemini, Gemini did better than this and, and we'll see that right now. So let's do Ooh, ooh, the, the graphics though. I did neglect to, okay. Pros and cons of both. Oh, wow. That, okay. Really, like, honestly, what I say right now doesn't really matter because that's one person's opinion on the output. I really think the takeaway from this should be that the models are just getting way better at things. I actually do. So the background, I swear that I have studio lighting on right now, so it's hard to see, but I swear this is a this is a gradient. Um, excuse me. This is a gradient background here, and I probably could just tell. Oh, okay, yeah, it says it right there. It's commented. So the background is a gradient. All right, so I would say that perhaps graphically, O1 beat it out. However, when it came to game mechanics and actually having a game that you could do something with other than kind of just this, I would say that Google did much better. The, the Gemini 1114. This is, this is really cool. Interesting too, the way that this, and, and the gradient and stuff. Okay, so that's, that's our new 01 um, game. And then we'll, let's try the Google one again. Okay, interesting now. Now I, I feel like my initial response is gonna make me look bad because I was so impressed with this, but it is more than, than the, the graphical elements. It's actually the, the fact that it built in game mechanics and put enemy cars that you can crash into and things that I did not specifically ask it to do. So I would overall say that this O1 here did perhaps a better job graphically, but Google made a better game because it was something you could actually play. Um, Gemini, preview 1140. Suppose, it's probably fine for the purposes of a short demonstration video on this. Um, I'll just, uh, yeah. Well, okay, so this was just a quick demonstration of the new Google model with specific emphasis on testing it to see how it does in Python coding. and. Uh, the synthwave game development script that I have come to now seem to use as my benchmark, if you will. Well.